wanted to talk about the new makeup that's coming out. And if you can tell by my lack of shopper drops in the last few months, it's because most of it has been quite boring and um, this video is no exception, but let's get to talk about it. I like talking about makeup if you couldn't guess. Yeah, so shopper drop, basically I go through all of the new makeup items that you can see on Trend Mood and I tell you whether or not I will be shopping for them or dropping them from my makeup list. So let's get started. I actually did want to talk a little bit about the new e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes. These are currently available. I'll have them linked if you're interested. Yeah, so I am not absolutely running to buy this or placing an individual order, but I do know I am going to buy this eventually. Like if I see it in Target, Target or a store or something or if I do need to make an elf order It is definitely an item I have on my list to test out though. I'm not rushing. So this is a shop I really do I love their normal putty blushes. I don't love them, but I think they're good for the price I've never been in love with them, but I want to try the luminous blush formula though I don't think I will really enjoy it in a cream format I just don't think it needs to be luminous on top of that. I feel like a creamy luminous this product can emphasize texture even more when I'm wearing a cream product. I like it to be like kind of flat as opposed to luminous. So I'm interested to see how this is. So I think this is a cool product. I haven't bought it yet, but I do plan on it. It's been a long time since this has been available, like 20 days. Wow, I'm really behind. <laughs> but I do plan on shopping that eventually. So these guys have launched as well from Fenty Beauty. So these are the Toasted Sorrel Bronze Shimmer Powder. I have no interest in this, so I'm gonna drop this. I don't know why, I've heard they were good and they were better than most people were expecting. I don't know, this is just like a super duper boring, uninteresting launch for me. If I'm being honest, Fenty Beauty has not interested me lately, I don't know. I did get the Fenty Skin Lip Oil, which honestly was really, really nice. I mean, Fenty, as we know, can put out a really nice product. <sighs> I've had so many bronzer products and cream bronzers enter my collection. I'm overwhelmed. And this is a sh bronze shimmer powder. I don't really like that. I don't like a shimmery bronze because, I don't know, my forehead has a little extra like up here on the outside dryness and I feel like a shimmery bronze shade emphasizes that. So that leads me to tell you that I am not interested in that. <laughs> so drop. Also, I wanted to talk about this. I have not talked about Kylie Cosmetics on my channel in forever. I think the last video I did for them was when they completely rebranded because I was curious. But this is the BFF collab with Kylie's friend Stassi. I'm not gonna lie, this collection is kind of cute. I mean, it launched a while ago, like two weeks ago. Drop. I don't need it. At the current moment and current season in my life, I'm really not interested in Kylie Cosmetics and it doesn't seem like Kylie's interested in Kylie Cosmetics either. You know, she does make the money from it. The products haven't been amazing. To me, they were amazing like when I was in college and didn't know any better and when, you know, Kylie was super duper trending. But I have to admit, the palette in this collection looks really, really gorgeous. So I'll put the link to it if you are interested in picking it up. But it, no. I have my brands on my channel that I review and, and this is not not one of them. I'm going through trend mood and it is just so uninteresting. Makeup is, is it uninteresting or just have we seen everything? Or do I just own everything, you know? I'm fully aware that that's part of it. I own everything under the sun, but mm. Okay, so She Glam. I've heard so many good things about She Glam. I do want to try their products. I won't be picking this up. I don't need a rainbow palette, so this is definitely a drop. This is their Pride Month collection. But I am interested in trying She Glam. I've heard so many good things about their makeup, so I'm interested in the brand. But I definitely am not interested in this particular launch. And then we have the Chapter 3 REM Beauty. So a few different lip formulations launched. We have lip liners, lipsticks, I think, lip oils and lip balms. I'm not, I'm not buying anything from this launch. The only reason I tried the Chapter 2 collection was because they sent it to me. And I'm not trying these unless Unless they send it to me so this is definitely a drop and I'm not even saying that like oh I'm an influencer PR I don't want to pay for it no I I don't I don't want to pay for this I wouldn't if I didn't have a YouTube channel and 
So yeah, if it comes to me, sure, I'll try it. I'll let you guys know. But RM Beauty is such a yawn to me, except for their lip and cheek sticks. You guys know I love their lip and cheek sticks. They were the best lip and cheek sticks I've ever tried. I put it in my best makeup of 2022. Uh, but I have no interest in the brand whatsoever. And honestly, it doesn't seem like Ariana has interest in the brand. But have you seen that tip of the lip oil? I gotta admit, that looks kind of cool. There's like a metal ball. I kind of like that. But no, I'm not going to be spending any of my money on this. I got a few questions about Road Beauty. Not too many. You guys know I don't really cover skincare too often on my channel. This is Hailey Bieber's new skincare brand. Very, very fitting because she has perfect skin. No, I have enough. I have enough skincare really to try. It's not even that I'm not interested. There was a couple products that actually did catch my eye. The one, the glazing fluid looks really interesting. But ah, all these skincare brands coming out are just so overwhelming to me. My skin is very, very sensitive and reactive. So I have to stick to a certain routine for a lot of time. And I get done a lot of skincare and PR and I end up giving up a lot of it just because my skin can't handle constantly testing new products. And I'm usually testing products. So I don't need any more product. I'm dropping this. <laughs> I've too many skincare lines. It's overwhelming. My skin can't handle the ever growing skincare market. But I mean, makes sense for her to come out with this. I could totally see her coming out with like a clean makeup brand. I mean, I know she always says how she doesn't wear makeup really, or she wears it really light. I mean, that's the perfect segue into a clean simple glossier-esque brand for road beauty no i mean i think i would i would try it <laughs> i hope she comes out with a makeup brand i'm not that we need it i know we don't need it but i'm interested for sure i got asked a few times because i do cover jacqueline cosmetics on my channel about the new summer collection it's quite like boring there's two formulas that already exist that i own the lip oil and the putty highlight and then a new bronzer formulation so this is a shop <laughs> i'm about to talk my trash but a shop because i did pick up two bronzer shades just to test the formula since jacqueline cosmetics is a brand that i cover and i did pick up one lip oil because i do like the lip oil formulation and i liked the color that i saw so i actually think it's downstairs in the mail room i need to go pick that up but yeah i did pick up a new lip oil shade because that is a good formula and the new bronzers the putty highlights i already have one i don't i don't really like the putty wait it's good okay it's a good formula but i definitely don't feel the need to buy more this was an underwhelming collection in my opinion which i think it I think it's fine. I feel like she, I, she would have been better off just launching the bronzers alone and making a bigger hype of that. I don't know. Anyways, I mean, I bought it. So who's the sucker? Me. <laughs> Y'all know I love to bag on Urban Decay. I think Urban De Decay can come with some really cool products. And I've been a fan of them for a long time. But what is this? <laughs> what is this? I mean, okay, so I have the Wild West palette. I believe these are repeat shades from the full size Wild West palette. This color story is the most boring color story. It really is the Wild West palette condensed into six shades, yes. But come on, Urban Decay, we can't get any more original than that. I mean, how can we save Urban Decay? You know? I mean, they're still coming out with products, meaning people are still buying them. They're still pushing the dang naked line. So people are still buying them. But this seems so outdated to me. And the formula, I bet you, isn't even that great. I mean, okay, the Wild West palette is fine. I don't have any major issues with it. But was there a single person on Earth asking for this palette? That is what I want to know. So this is a drop. I will not be buying it. Sometimes Urban Decay does send me PR if they send this to me. I probably will not be trying it unless it's to put it in a TikTok or something. But yeah, won't see it featured on my YouTube channel. I am so unbelievable unbelievably uninterested in that. Oh, okay, so this one is actually exciting. I've been talking about Rare Beauty a lot. I feel like recently I did like a whole dedicated review. So the Kind Words Matte Lipsticks and Lip Liners. So both of these are brand new formulas to Rare Beauty. So I definitely am interested in trying this. This is a shop. I bet you they're gonna be good. 
I, I feel like they're gonna be a really creamy hydrating formula I mean this is exciting to me because it fills a hole in the rare beauty line and I'm very interested in rare beauty when it first started I was not interested in rare beauty I was like Selena Gomez what are you doing nobody even talked about your makeup and then I was wrong like the brand is really really good if you watch my overall review you know there's a lot of hits and a lot of misses for me in the brand uh, but overall I think it's definitely one of the best and most successful celebrity lines I'm excited to try these I'm excited to see what I think I mean we don't need any more lip liners and lip glosses but I'm excited to see what Rare Beauty comes out with. That's just, it's something that I'm interested in for sure. The colors look, look at that. They look like nice neutral wearable paint. These colors look very within my color zone and my comfort zone. So this is going to be available on July 7th. Well, I'll definitely post some links to this. I bet you you'll probably be able to pick it up in, in stores. You know, so that way you can choose the shades. So, I don't know. Anyways, yes, I, I like it. Okay, let's talk about this ColourPop collection. This is the Jasmine Chiswell collection. I don't know who Jasmine Kis Chiswell, whatever it is. I saw she had a huge following on TikTok when I looked her up. I actually did get sent this in PR. Would I have bought this? collection no it, it's not my style i think it's cute there is a lip duo that's like a hot pink color that looks so gorgeous i can't wait to try it so i'm excited that that was sent to me but i don't know unless i do a dedicated video that any of these products are something that i am interested in so if i didn't have a youtube channel and i didn't have it sent to me in pr it would be a drop i mean two five pan eyeshadow palettes kind of a yawn to me i'm not into that the color stories they're cute i already own all of the color stories i do, the lip duos do excite me though i love a good lip duo with the lip liner and the lipstick from ColourPop. those are definitely my favorite part like i would be most interested in getting the pink one and the red one if i was like putting myself in a different situation it's a cute collection though i'm not gonna lie it is cute the whole theme of it all but it's not something that like absolutely captures my interest. Here is an exciting one. Michaela X Glam Light Pot 2. Uh, yeah, I will definitely be shopping this. So I have her first collab and I was late to getting it because I did not start watching beauty TikTok until a few months ago. And even then my feed still doesn't get very much beauty content, even though I am a beauty content creator on TikTok. Uh, yeah, I don't see much of the TikTok trends going on beauty wise, but I now know Michaela. I think she is amazing at what she does. She's very entertaining and her makeup looks are insane. So I did end up buying the first palette when I got it on sale on Glamite. I still haven't used it yet. Mm, that's embarrassing to say. I got it months ago and I still haven't used it yet, but it's a gorgeous palette. I think that first palette is more my style, but this palette looks so fun. I'm still going to pick it up. Don't worry. It's more on the colorful side. I would say the first palette was a little bit safer. This one is the perfect companion and I definitely like these are her colors. She wears very, very bold makeup. So I'm excited to try this. It's going to come out July 2nd. I need to play with volume one or part one in the next few days before I try this. What do you guys think? Are you interested in a review? I've never covered Glam Light on my channel before. I have a few of their palettes that I've never tried. Yeah, now that I'm a Michaela fan, I definitely want to support her for this. Congratulations, Michaela. The palette is gorgeous, and I think it's just so awesome that she chooses to partner with Glam Light for this, you know, an indie brand. She's made Glam Light huge. I can definitely see the evolution of Glam Light. We also have Nimya, which is... Nikki Tutorials makeup brand came out with Spill the Juice lip gloss. Those are available now. I did not pick them up. I'm gonna drop them. There's also is a lip balm. You know, it, except for Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty was the exception, but you have to be a brand I really love or have amazing colors to convince me to buy lip products because my lip product collection is insane and I consistently wear the same like four or five lip products. I don't know how it happened. I said I would never become that person because I have such a large collection, but I have no interest in this whatsoever. Okay, listen. Nikki Tutorials, so amazing, so talented, and OG. So much respect for her. 
I don't know about her makeup brand. It's the beginning, and I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but lip glosses for me are a little underwhelming, and then just given how much amazing eye makeup she does, I want to see her come out with a palette. I'm a palette person. That's what I'm always more partial to. That's definitely what I want to see from her. So maybe we'll be talking, but as of now, the brand really isn't of interest to me. So yeah, drop. I think that's it. I'm scrolling through to see if there's anything else I want to talk about. I mean, the skin by Kim skincare line, I feel the same about like Hailey Bieber, Road Beauty, whatever. I just... I don't need it. Too much skincare. Our our little skins, it's not good for skin to have so much skincare and playing around. My poor little skin wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, you guys, you see what I mean by like things are kind of boring nowadays? I I mean, at least the brands that I'm interested in, they've slowed down. I've noticed that for sure. And then when they all launch something, it's at the exact same time. And then I'm super overwhelmed being a makeup reviewer. Uh, but yeah, it's a little slow on the makeup scape, but that is okay. I still enjoy talking about makeup and all of my thoughts. So thank you for just taking some time out of your day to hang out with me and talk makeup my favorite time of the day. Let me know what you are interested in trying and what you're going to be passing on. Is there anything in particular that you want to see me review? I'm waiting for Pat McGrath to come out with a new mothership. I feel like it's almost time. It's almost been a year. Pat and Nat aren't coming out with anything. I'm like never interested in what the makeup market is coming out with. So anyways, thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, have a good one.